Namaste. My name is Rui Simra. I'm an international meditation master. Today I want to speak what to do when we are together with Alia. Nobody can avoid it to be together with a Leah or with a person who is lying. So, what to do? So I have so many experience with this. I was even together in a long-term relationship with a cheater and Leah. So, <laughs> so the first step is to identify the um, the, the cheated or the, uh, the, the lies. No? So when I found out that my loved one or my dear one was lying, she got very upset. When I changed the theme, the anger was over. It's just mainly so um, that the Leah is um, showing anger to protect his integrity and himself or herself. And if we change uh, uh, to, to talk about uh, another things, then the anger is over. Also, it's really an indicator if the anger is very fast over, when we change, it is a lie. The next thing is we write down what Celia had said, and if he next time is saying different things, we know it. So, and even we know it for what we should mention that the other guy is lying. Then the other person is getting hurt because he, he, he or she is losing his face. And for what is this good? We can act on it in the right way and then the problem is solved. Then there is also a big culture difference. As in Germany, it is awful to lie. In Thailand, is it so, if you hurt the other person with your opinion, or if you confront the other person, what is uncomfortable, or if you lose your face, lying is okay. So, if we understand this, okay, different culture, and the Bible is saying one honest word is more than a thousand platter words, okay, it's a different culture. So, we can try to avoid lias, but it's not always working. So, we need for us strategies. The worst thing is not the lying, is the monsters inside of us who want to protect us for such liars and is messing up everything. The other person is lying, okay, <laughs> and then our monster said, what is if he is lying? What is? And then we losing ground and we don't know what we should do and so on. We, and my God, it's getting dangerous. <laughs> and if we need this very fast, urgently, and if this person is here lying, what to do? And through this, we attract even more that the other person is lying and cheating to us because our fear that we don't get what we want. We push away our beloved outcome. 
we attract what is inside of us. Very simple thing. If you are afraid to get something, you push it away from you. And if you think, regardless what outcome you, are, uh, you, you get, you are happy with every outcome, you will attract the good thing. So more you demand, so more you push it away. It's just so easy. Be relaxed, stay cool, and then it's easier the whole life. Also with lying and cheating. Then I think all the time over, is it really necessary that I get this thing? And then I find all the time thousands of reasons why it's not necessary. I become relaxed and situation is easy. The spiritual uh, um, thing is that we think that everything is God, everything is on, under God controls. Huh? So um, how can it cheat us anybody if we trust in God? Not possible. <laughs> because the other is also under control of God, so then cheated is, is, is cheating God to us, maybe we need this cheating to grow for our inner growing, but in reality, cheating is then not possible anymore. We trust in God and everything outcome is good. We are thankful for every outcome and we thank this, we say thank you, God. It, it sounds crazy, but the reality is we can see the situation much more relaxed and we get less cheated and less people lying to us. It's just so. We put the people on attention and then they're lying. It is just simple, simple things. No? And the next thing is we want to protect us that we check every person. Don't give 100% trust to anybody. I got cheated from my best friends, from everybody. And then you say, my best friend will not do such things. Checking is much better. Then the other person cannot cheat you. It's just so simple. And you can ask every guy in my age, and he will tell you directly the same thing what I tell you right now. It is so. Trust nobody 100%. It's very simple. We are all weak beings. Also, look at me. <laughs> so, I have one point more. When an other person is cheating us and trust, and we don't trust him, no? okay, then we can check also which position has this guy. If this guy is superior in the position or ha ha is much more wealthy than us, uh, then this person don't need to be honest to us. And I tell you really honestly, I never got so much cheated from people who have a higher position than me and much more money than me. And I don't trust these guys. The same position you can trust much easier, but with this higher proposition, I would check like crazy. Because they don't care. They speak so great words and then they turn around and and maybe this is the reason why they're so rich. I don't say more. Don't trust such people. Okay. Thank you very much that I could speak to you and bye.